and the vibrant thoughts for the week. Ye shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost is come upon you. Power always follows in the wake of understanding. <clears throat> On the day of Pentecost, the, dis the, the disciples understood. The power of God awaits all who accept God with understanding. I now accept the power of the Holy Spirit into my life, and my burden is lighter. The comfort and assurance of the presence of God are now mine. Today, I rejoice in the consciousness that I and my Father are one. Today is God's day. I will use it as God would have it used. And now Dr. Lyle will give us our meditation. Let's put our feet firmly on the floor, our hands palms down in our lap. We sit with our spine erect. We go within to the third eye area. Lord Jesus, take each of us by the hand. Lead us gently up the little path, through the narrow gate, through the Holy of Holies into the kingdom of God where all is righteousness. Here each of us is one with the Father. We thank thee, Father, that thou hast heard us, thou hearest us always. Taking that time to come within to that sacred spot. We're in, still in the season of the Christmas tide, the Christmas spirit. So take a moment and meditate on the thought, the concept of love, what it means to you in your life, how it can have greater meaning for you throughout this new year. And likewise, take a moment and meditate on the meaning of hope. How it can be used and can be beneficial in your life throughout this coming year. and faith. Allow your thoughts 
to dwell on faith. Seek the true meaning of faith for you in your life. And we thank thee, Lord Jesus, for leading us in the way of the truth that frees the perfect love that casteth out fear, the peace which passes all understanding, and the way of eternal life. And now join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Let us not be led into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen.